Uh, this piece is the third part of a trilogy that I started in 2003. This whole trilogy was inspired by We Sertões. It's a book by Euclides da Cunha uh, that wrote about a conflict that we had in the end of the 19th century. A riot created by the people, the very simple people, poor people from this region, uh, against a kind of power, against a kind of idea of institution uh, coming over them, like fighting for land, but fighting for the subjective rights of human being. Yeah, Matador means is a lot house, and it's like a place where the animals are taken to, to be killed. Uh, we kind of felt a little bit like that at this time, and we could also like relate it to a lot of people, a lot of minority people that live in the same conditions, in the conditions of being, um, yeah, not have much importance, being treated as whatever, because they don't fit on a kind of hegemonic model, or they don't belong to a kind of clear and hegemonic situation. The fact that we didn't have much, we also didn't have much money to make this piece. I mean, I, I used to say, and it's a little bit true, that we, we were only naked because we didn't really have money to buy costumes, you know. It's really my first piece that everybody's naked, and it came a little bit because of that, because we really couldn't afford to have costumes and everything, and uh, it was a piece that we were very concentrated on something very simple, very direct. We had, it seems like, this conflict in our bodies. For me, the body is very important. It's not about who you are in terms of your passport photo, but uh, it's much more important real the body and uh, not the face. I've been quite intrigued by masks uh, for a long time, not necessarily as a kind of theatrical uh, attribute, theatrical props or anything, but really as a way to hide the identity or to disguise the identity, to kind of change identity, to give it another meaning, another direction, other kind of disappearing culture in. Um, other kind of spirits, let's say, other kind of dynamics of life. This piece of music, uh, especially the second movement, it is like kind of divine. I thought, yeah, that's the, really the right music conceptually because it's like the last music he wrote, fight for his life somehow, having like death already coming to him. And um, yeah, I mean, now it is like very special for us to be here doing this piece because, well, uh, we were proposed to do with a quintet, with live music. I always had a dream to do that, but I, I always thought like it would be impossible because, I mean, musicians are very expensive and I think in Brazil we don't have so many musicians able to just play the music. And it's, I think it's a big contrast between what the piece is and between those bodies and the musicians, the live music. So I think you're going to see a big contrast and in a way it can create a kind of friction that it could be interesting, you know. Uh, also a kind of relativization of what beauty or power is. Because sometimes we are too used to see this is beautiful, this is power, this is right, this is white, this is black. And I think Matadoro somehow it kind of turns to one side to another those notions of what beauty or power or right or wrong is.